Hello there, my Capricorn Collective. I hope you're having a wonderful day. What's going on, Cappies? Oh, what's up? God protects me and God fights my battles. No weapon formed in spirit or physical against me shall prosper. I'm highly favored and protected from all evil, as is my beautiful Capricorns. Capricorns, did you see that? Six of Pentacles, Seven of Cups, and the Ten of Swords in the middle of it. So you're going to be getting some clarity. Uh, balance coming in. Heavy Libra energy. So stay focused on the positive, right? Endings, new beginnings. Endings, new beginnings. Which is always good. It's like uh, the snake shedding its skin, Cappies. Hmm. So you might be a little irritable. You know what I mean? So just kind of stay balanced out, even killed. Uh, I want you to be thinking positive. Stay on the sunny side of the street. You know what I mean? Oh, I have for yeah, your intuition. So some of you are probably feeling that certain sort of way. Like things are just new. Three of Pentacles. Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, Nine of Cups. Are you a praying person? Because you know what? Uh, stay focused. Stay focused. Father, Son, Holy Ghost. So some of you are definitely work, uh, your, your spiritual life, whatever you got going on. You need to stay optimistic. Especially if the Magician card shows. There's that Libra energy. That balance coming in. There's a Hierophant at the bottom. Father, Son, Holy Ghost, right? Page of Swords. To the Empress. Oh, my goodness. Uh, you all know that Eponine was a Page of Swords, right? Don't be so scared by this fucking Page of Swords energy. Pardon my French. Someone has got your back. Because, again, it, it's that energy, right? If someone's watching you, someone's been watching them watching you. It's, it's like that whole fucking to-do thing. So you need to focus on the positive here. Don't get so caught up in, uh, in, uh, semantics. Stay positive. Stay focused. Stay grounded in your faith. Just keep saying your prayers, Capricorn. Some of y'all could be, you know, feeling, getting your sea legs or feeling a little off just stay positive grounding exercises Ooh. some of you could be calling in new one's ending for something new to begin and some of y'all this doesn't have to be a romantic relationship this could most definitely be with work this could be promotion energy to the empress eight of swords yeah there's stagnation there for a reason but for a lot of you that's that sort of <laughs> five of swords energy working on your behalf uh a lot of you with work this could be someone watching you right so let's say the boss is uh looking around for someone for a promotion and they're talking to your supervisor but maybe your supervisor's talking shit so you know you could have others watching you it's not always a negative yeah, that stagnation was there for a reason three of cups celebrate good times come on so i want you to to kind of look at things from a different perspective sometimes that stagnation is there for a reason high priestess energy seven of pentacles capricorn yeah i want you to stay away from the negative uh self-doubt thinking so i want positive uh, affirmations from you uh now is not the time to let that sort of uh the energy that would keep you stuck limit you right now especially when opportunities are arising okay cappies because you're manifesting and y'all all this basically fucking means is you're staying positive you're looking at things different. yeah thank you you're looking at things differently you look at things differently eight of pentacles eight of cups even kitty agrees because y'all got to remember, Eponine was a page of swords. Right? So I'm liking this. So whatever you're working on, Cappy, stay focused, stay grounded. Over top of Libra energy, king of swords. Ten of wands. Clearing that path. Some of y'all, that stagnation was there for a reason. To lead the way to your ten of cups. 
You got the Eight of Cups, Nine of Cups, to the fucking Ten of Cups. So some of you wanting relationships, partnerships. And again, it doesn't have to be romantic, y'all. This is just good working uh, relationships, partnerships. This is happy. This is contentment. This is, you know, everything sort of working out. With these eight cards, you had to leave something. This is all about endings allowing new beginnings. So some of y'all, you need to sever the negative. Whatever the hell keeps you stuck. And this is self-talk. Some of you knowing you need to end relationships and move the fuck on, then do it. Um, sometimes you limit yourself. This is what limits you at the end of the day. Uh, it doesn't have to be any hoodoo voodoo shit. This is just what you do to yourself. Keeping yourself stuck. So do yourself a good and try to focus on the positive. And understand that stagnation is, is always there for a reason. And this energy, for a lot of you, this is when, you know, you have your boss, but someone above your boss could be looking. Uh, today's workplace is definitely very fucking different. And a lot of you, uh, some of these new hires going into places are actually kind of uh, laying some groundwork. Because everything is changing. So I want you to be positive. What's with the Hierophant card here? I do feel like this is... Uh, some of you probably pray. And do whatever you need to do to find that, that balance with that Two of Pentacles. You know, especially when you're dealing with your sort of negative doubt. This is your fears. Whatever keeps you stuck. You know, it's like don't lose faith in the positive. Uh, always keep that uh, open mindset. Some of y'all realizing that stagnation is there for a reason. Pay attention. There's something you're probably not seeing, which would allow you to, eight of cups, move out of a situation to go find your own happiness. But you got to make that choice. You have to be the one to make that choice. That's, uh, right? Devil over one shoulder, angel on the next, right? Queen of Pentacles. Star card, Queen of Swords, to the Two of Wands. This is making smart, healthy choices that keep you grounded, centered, and focused. Whatever that pentacle is that you're holding, that you hold near and dear to you, this is moving forward in a loving energy to make very smart choices. Don't fear this, because for a lot of you, this is actually to your benefit. This is to your benefit, because Eponine was a page of swords. Okay. Anything else for you, Cappies? I noticed 811 on the phone, which goes to 88. So some of you, retrograde energy, that two of pentacles, right? There's a lot of things on that 88-day cycle. Some of y'all pay attention to your astrology. Yeah, it, it's all going to come down to this. This is like the transits. This is all that good stuff. But you're going to have to get your sea legs. Okay? This is when, when you're feeling that, uh, stay more optimistic. And figure out some sort of grounding exercise you can do. Something that kind of keeps you focused. You know, pulls you back. Uh, this isn't like overly optimistic. But it also isn't like... Uh, like fucking doom and gloom. You know what I mean? It's just, you're, it's an even kill. It's life, chalk it up, move the fuck on. Tomorrow's another day, right? I like that, Cappies. Stay focused. Keep working towards your dream. And uh, when you're feeling that imbalance coming in, just try to figure out a way to level out. Whatever that is for you that pulls you back to center. And you'll be good. Peace, love, and light, Capricorns.